This is a cut. This is a markup. Percentages don't climb up and down the stairs the same way. Hey guys, it's Gene here. Okay, what's the difference between a markup and a cut, okay? Here's a markup. A markup is you give a quote to a landscape architect, landscape professional, property manager. They want to mark it up 20%. They take your quote, they add 20%, and that's the amount that they present to their client. I had a situation a few years ago where a guy says, yeah, my markup's 20%. And so I give him a quote for $2,000. He goes, why'd you send me a bill for $2,000? My markup is 20%. So he was going like this. Watch. This is how he did the math. Seriously, the, the, the percent button on a calculator messes people up. You should have sent me a bill for sixteen hundred. Okay, this is to me. This is hilarious. I'm like, why am I explaining this to a grown ass man? All right, so this is a markup: two thousand plus twenty percent. Two thousand plus twenty percent equals two thousand four hundred dollars. Mister Landscape Architect, Landscape Professional, Property Manager. I gave you a quote for $2,000. That means I'm going to give you an invoice for $2,000. What you do with that quote, whether you mark it up or not, is none of my business. The invoice is going to reflect the quote that I gave you. Okay, so this guy wants a 20% markup? Then he needs to take my $2,000 quote and add 20% and present, and present a $2,400 quote and invoice to his client. All right, okay, so let's just see what a cut looks like. This guy says, my cut is 20%. <laughs> All right, so minus 20%, we already did this already. We went 2,000 minus 20% and 1,600. This is not how I do business. Like I said, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, if I provide you a quote for 2,000, I'm also gonna provide you an invoice for 2,000, all right? So don't call a cut a markup because it's not. Why is it not a markup? Because 1600 plus 20% is not 2000. <laughs> it's 1920. Remember this rule of basic arithmetic. Percentages don't climb up and down the stairs the same way. Okay, you can't say, my, uh, you can't confuse a markup with a cut. So do you understand a, a cut? Let's do this one more time real quick. We use a completely different number. $5,000 plus a 40% markup. My quote's 5,000, my invoice is gonna be 5,000. If you wanna make some money as the middleman, then you're going to have to do something with that $5,000 number. What your markup is, is none of my business. This particular example is a 40% markup. He, wait a minute, yeah, 7,000. I work with a landscape architect, have been done so for years, two hundred fifty dollars to $350,000 worth of business every single year. This guy doesn't mark anything less than 40%. His markup is 40%. I give him a quote for $5,000, he marks it up, presents it to the client for $7,000. I send him an invoice for $5,000, he promptly pays it. Your deal is with them, not with their client. Whether or not their client has paid you yet is immaterial to how soon you want to get paid for your job. Again, another subject. So this is a markup and this is a cut, minus 40%. 5,000 minus 40%, 3,000. So, dear tree care professional, landscape professional, property manager, if I give you a quote for $5,000, don't just change the name on the quote and pass it to your client because I'm not going to give you a $3,000 invoice. I'm going to give you a $5,000 invoice. This is a cut. This is a markup. Thank you.